Hello friends, hola amigos, welcome to a new video. So everybody knows my um, dynamic turn lights in the tail by now. Well, I have to admit they aren't as great as the turn lights in the mirrors, of course. But it was the best I could do within the existing setup. But today I'm going to try something else. My fellow forum member from Holland, Tigerman, gave me the idea to uh, place the lights right there so um, I will try if it is feasible and of course I'd like to share this with you so here they are right now as you can see well on the white uh, car they aren't this uh, that, that much present but uh, I can imagine if you have a black or a darker co color well, they, they aren't as beautiful placed right here, as well as they um, seem to get a little bit dirty and uh, they don't stick quite that well. So I will try to place them down here. As you can see, there is a small gap and I think I can place them here. So they will work all this way over. So they will be placed a little bit further to the side, but it may look more uh, factory made so I just removed the bolts from here with a 10 millimeter and um, well, if it's the first time you have to really pull backwards like this which could be quite scary if you didn't did it before just, uh, just try to wrap on right here place the other hand here on the side you could try to grab it like here and just pull backwards. So friends, the lamp is out. I really had to pull it with quite some force. Just be careful not to break anything. It's fixed on this plug. Plugged in there, unplugged down there. Just pull it backwards with force, but gently not to break the, the plastic. Here you can see the setup. This was the cable to my switch. I placed back there, well hidden, but to have the possibility to shut it down if needed there are the connectors and here is the cable down to the LED strip so I've thoroughly cleaned the surface with a um, the degreaser just to be sure that it fixes well and now I will um, use some uh, universal silicon to um, to stick it in there but because uh, the 3M tape doesn't uh, hold any longer so it would be uh, much cleaner I guess so a little change of approach as you can see it doesn't hold really as I uh, hoped so I changed the silicon to a um, fix all version that uh, worked really well I took the, the white version of it and I also had to uh, cut it down just one bit otherwise uh, this part just came out too far and uh, it wouldn't have fit anyway so uh, I'll just let it dry as it is I will attack the other side right now and uh, I will see so as you can see the new silicon holds up way 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 better so I just place the fill light temporarily just to show and just to see the effect but um, actually I'm quite happy with it it's a little bit more discreet and uh, it seems to fit so um, I just have to fix the other one to correct it with the new silicon and um, let it dry until we're ready to uh, to be fixed definitely. So friends, I uh, let it dry for about um, three quarters of an hour and um, removed all the tape, fixed the lights in place again and as you can see they're quite well hidden. If they're not activated, you shouldn't even notice them. But if you look from behind, well, they um, actually qu look quite well there. So, uh, Tiger Mang, thank you very much for the, the tip. And I'll close up to show you the difference. So, before, with them um, blinking down there, which wasn't. Uh, the best option after all as you can see now they, uh, they really do well 